What's going on guys? So I'm back for another video and today's video is actually going to be, I went out and visited the Capilano suspension bridge in Vancouver and I wanted to at least release this footage in a video. So that's the footage you're going to see today. There's actually some other footage from Vancouver that's going to come out from this week as well. Things like putting a fish trap in English Bay as well as putting a fish trap in the ponds or lakes that are inside of Stanley Park and things of that nature. Definitely stay tuned for this. The Capilano suspension bridge in Vancouver is an amazing place to visit so if you've not been there definitely check it out I'm definitely afraid of heights so actually I'm not really afraid of heights I'm kind I'm kind of afraid of heights, but anyway, it's a place to go visit. It's beautiful. There's all kinds of wildlife. Absolutely amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned. So we're crossing over the Lions Gate Bridge. It opened in 1938, officially known as the First Narrows Bridge, and it is a suspension bridge that crosses the First Narrows of Burrard Inlet and connects the city of Vancouver to the North Shore municipalities of the District of North Vancouver, basically delivering water and other resources. Uh, once we get crossed over here, we're gonna take a look at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. So here's the map of the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park and today we're going to be touring this joint which and I am deathly afraid of heights so we're going to see how this goes. Apparently we are at the entrance and I am just going to let you know now there is stuff everywhere. Right here. So we're going to be walking over that right now. Absolutely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Look at this place. Apparently there's a trout pond over here. Maybe I can fasten together some fishing line and go fishing. Don't see anything in here though. So I'm now heading into the raptor's edge. So there is apparently a bunch of raptor birds down here. Owls, hawks. There are tons of bald eagles in this part of the country. So I am hoping that I get to see some of those today. As you can tell, it would not be a very fun place to fall. This is one thing you do not see in Texas is hydrangeas just growing in the wild. There's some blue ones, some pink ones, got some daylilies all around the trout pond, which I didn't see any trout in, but pond's still cool. A little waterfall here from another pond up there. Uh oh, better be careful. It's a walk path to extreme nature. Apparently I may die up here. Apparently it's extremely extreme. I am on a staircase making my way to the top of these trees. I'm not sure how high I'll go. Well, I have finally made it into the treetop canopy. If you notice, I think we're like about 400 foot up at this point. Definitely need to find somewhere to bungee jump off here. But now on the nature's edge. Well, I know one thing's for sure. If old Peggy was here, I'd roll Peggy up and throw Peggy right off the side, right down into those rocks. Cause that's where Peggy does, look, there's water down there. Peggy'd be fine. So right down here, this is where Peggy'd end up. I mean, you can see the rapids back here. I don't know if you can really see them, but down here, yep, I, that's exactly where I'd throw Peggy. Someday I'm gonna figure out how to get Peggy to drown. I tried in the boat the other day, that didn't work. We are now officially at the edge of nature in Vancouver. Look how narrow this bridge is. And look at this. Both sides lead to sudden death if you fall. And now it's time to rappel down off this thing. I'm probably gonna go to jail, but we're gonna figure that out. Thank you. 
This place is really cool. So if you guys ever make it out to Vancouver, British Columbia, definitely check out the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. Just the amount of wildlife, just the overall environment out here is amazing. This is probably one of the cooler tours I've gone on since I've ever come to Vancouver. So definitely, uh, definitely check this place out. I know this isn't really like what I normally do on my channel, but since I'm here and this place is cool, I figured I'd share it with you. So I am here at Grouse Mountain in North Vancouver and I'm about to get on the sky ride. And this looks really dangerous. I want to ride on top of it, which apparently you can. So I'm out exploring Vancouver, British Columbia again, and we're at Grouse Mountain. And today, we're going to be going all the way up there. If you can see, there is a windmill at the top of that mountain that has a glass room attached to it that we're gonna go up in top of. Apparently, you're 15 feet away from the blades. I think that this is gonna be pretty cool. There's a lot of nature trails and hiking that go on here as well. And we're gonna go see what that's all about. So I'm currently in a restricted area that may result in me falling. That's okay though. Absolutely stunning views from up here. So another great place to come visit if you ever make it to Vancouver, British Columbia is the Grouse Mountain Park. They have everything from helicopter tours to zip lining to to paragliding uh, to a huge windmill you should be able to see right there we're gonna climb up to that thing now and they have an observation deck on it this thing's gonna be awesome there are grizzly bears in this cage and I'm gonna wrestle one I'm looking right now for a way to get into this fence because I'm wrestling one of the grizzly bears bet bet oh looks like we may have found a spot to get in well there they are I found a way in the problem is it's an electric fence grinder and Kula do have a cool pond and water feature here though. So Grinder and Kula were actually orphaned grizzly bears that were found along a logging road and they brought them in and rehabilitated them and now they live in this beautiful little enclosure. So it's a sad story actually. Kula's mother was killed and three cubs stayed with her, with her while she was dead. The first cub died, the second cub escaped and was never found and Kula was, was captured and brought here where she was raised, rehabilitated and now lives a fantastic life. Look at the size of this thing. And we are off very soon. Well, this is going to be a time lapse. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. All the city of Vancouver down there. You can see everything downtown. You can see Stanley Park. All of it. Well, the chairlift ride is now over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this more than I did. And we made it. I'm safe. Whew. I am walking up to the elevator of sudden death. Let's walk around this and see. There's nothing in here other than an elevator. Yeah, I've never quite imagined what it would be like sitting here waiting for my elevator to another world. But I feel like I'm gonna die today. Okay. <laughs> The views are spectacular up here. It's definitely worth it. If you look out here, you can see English Bay, Coal Harbor, that's where the seaplanes take off. This whole area right here. That's all Stanley Park. Downtown Vancouver. Whoa, whoa, there's a dirt devil over there. Okay, that was crazy. I just saw a tornado in Vancouver on the mountaintop. Well, back to the time lapse. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video today. Uh, definitely a great place to visit. If you've never been to Vancouver, it's a wonderfully 
beautiful city. Everything from Stanley Park to the Capilano Suspension Bridge to the aquarium, everything and anything that I've done in Vancouver is pretty amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Now, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do that. We're, we're always bringing out something crazy, something cool content wise, especially when old Peggy's around. Peggy's not here this week, but hey, always something great going on. And if you've been with me for a while and you've yet to subscribe or you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do that now. And hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know in the comments below and definitely give me a like. Uh, yeah, you can always like the video too. So anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying and we will see you next time.